We're going Christmas shopping in today's video. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel and haven't clicked subscribe yet, I hope you'll take this opportunity to do so. It's a great way to show support for my channel. Clicking the notification bell will inform you when new content is added to the channel. So before we get into today's topic of looking at some of the new collectible Hallmark Christmas ornaments, I do want to talk about a couple other things. Earlier this week, Comicories held their Olympics and the category was the long distance run. I was a participant and that meant that we could only play from one volume of a comic book. We couldn't use everything in our collection. We could only pull books for one specific volume. So I obviously chose Wonder Woman Volume 1 because that's the series that I'm most familiar with. So it was Wonder Woman Volume 1 versus Flash Volume 1. And then on the Marvel side, it was uh, X-Men Volume 1 versus Spectacular Spider-Man Volume 1. And then the DC winner took on the Marvel winner. Well, I won the DC round and spoiler, I won the entire thing because of you. I can't thank you guys enough for voting for me and showing support and uh, letting me just make a big fool of myself, but I had so much fun and um, it feels good to be a winner, I'll tell you that. One thing, and I have to say I was shocked to have won this. I didn't expect that, especially Wonder Woman taking on Spider-Man in the final round. I definitely thought there were more Spider-Man fans than Wonder Woman fans. But one thing, because I was so shocked that I didn't get to mention on Comic Wars, and I want to take this opportunity to do so now publicly, is thank Chicago Schultze, who you can find on Instagram. Uh, it was Jeff's idea. He approached me, even though I had seen Comic Wars asking for people in these different Olympics categories, uh, he's the one who messaged me and said, you should really do this category with your Wonder Woman collection because I think you could do well. And it's because of him that I said, yeah, I'm going to do it. So I share my win with you, Jeff, and I thank you so much for being such an amazing friend to me and for uh, always showing support and, and pushing me when I probably wasn't going to do this. And I'm glad that you gave me just a little nudge because I had a great time and it certainly paid off. So if you haven't had a chance to watch Comic Ories uh, and, and see some of the, well, maybe my opponents would have called it BS, but I'll, I'll say see some of the shenanigans that I pulled during that show. Make sure to catch that on the Rewind on John's Comics with Kids channel. It's uh, worth the effort to check out, at least I think so. And you'll see some cool covers too. That's a definite. So since uh, Christmas is kind of the theme, Christmas in July, you know, I do have a Christmas in July giveaway that's currently going on on my channel that's running until 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time on July 31st, 2021. So you have to the end of this month to get your entry in. See my July 1st, 2021 video. That will give you full details on how to enter and you'll make your entry on in the comment section of that video. So we have 12 prizes that are all Christmas superhero comic book theme that are going to one person. And then lo and behold, Comichead84 said, I'm gonna up that ante and I'm gonna put in a custom sketch cover to the winner too. 13 prizes, one winner, it could be you as we continue to celebrate Wonder Woman's 80th anniversary here on the Magic Lasso channel. Just make sure to check out that video, make your entry. Um, I think that there's some real fun prizes there from all different eras and, and you know, we have six comic books, then we have other items too, like a Christmas tree ornament, since we're gonna be talking about ornaments in today's video. There's a Santa hat, there's um, a Christmas stocking, and more things. There's a Funko Pop too, uh, so check it out. The July 1st, 2021 video and make your entry. So that brings us to the topic of today's video. Earlier this month, I was on the Instagram show, hashtag Blame Fable, and they started talking about uh, Masters of the Universe. And I brought up the fact that Hallmark actually has a Castle Grayskull ornament for 2021 as part of their um, Christmas tree ornaments. So it looks like they release these um, ornaments in different waves. So obviously a big wave in July for Christmas in July theme, and those are out in stores now. And then it looks like, I think in the beginning of October, in the first week of October, they do a whole bunch more ornaments, 
Then I think there's one other release date too with just a few other ornaments. So I thought, well, it seemed the people on the hashtag Blame Fable show weren't aware of how many superhero or collectible themed stuff that Hallmark puts out this year. I happened to be at a Hallmark store just a day or two after being on that show and I turned on the camera and that's what I'm going to show you today. First of all, I want to tell you that some of these ornaments do make um, sounds, but I have been told that that can get you a copyright strike on your channel. So I didn't want that, so I didn't push any of the buttons. Um, I I'm pushing buttons, just not any of those buttons. Uh, in, sh in showing that to you. So I noticed as well that they didn't have the um, Falcon and Winter Soldier Sam Wilson ornament. They also didn't have the Batman ornament and they didn't have a Castle Grayskull, all of which were supposed to be released in July. I don't know if these got bumped back or what the deal was. I went to another Hallmark store uh, just a few days ago and I wanted to see if they had those three ornaments that were missing. They had the Batman one, so I'm inserting that clip into this video as well for you to check out. But I don't know, like I said, why no one else uh, didn't have the Sam Wilson ornament or the Castle Grayskull ornament. So I do want to talk about a few other cool ornaments that are coming up. But first, let's give you a chance to check out the 2021 Hallmark ornament line, specifically focus more on the collectible ornaments. Right now, starting with Star Trek.
So did you see some cool ornaments in that video? I'd love for you to comment below and tell me which ornaments you like or if there's any that you maybe even plan on going out and buying to put on your tree or just maybe just put on your shelf to enjoy. So I mentioned that there's some other ornaments coming that I'm actually excited about. I really want to see in person this bat cave ornament that they have. It looks, it's based off of the 1966 Batman TV show. And, it, and you'll see Bruce and Dick up in the study, and then you'll see the bat pole down into the bat cave too. It looks huge, and I'm sure it plays sounds too. It retails for $60. So $60 for an ornament, that's bonkers. Oh, by the way, did you notice how big that Star Wars Death Star Kree Topper was? That was huge. That It was even more impressive in person than it showed on, on the video. Uh, there's also, speaking of the Batman 1966 TV show, they're doing an Eartha Kit Catwoman ornament, and I'm planning on going to get that when that's released in early November as well. But there were a lot of things that I liked this year, too. There's a uh, Henry Cavill black-suited Superman ornament that's coming up in October, too. Lots of good stuff. Leave me a comment below and let me know, as I said, which ornaments you like the best or if you have any plans to get any of these ornaments. Have you ever bought any of the collectible ornaments from Hallmark in the past before? Let's talk about those things and more in the comments section below. Please give this video a thumbs up and uh, share this video and share this channel with someone who might not be subscribed who might enjoy the content. That certainly is appreciated. You guys are awesome and thank you again for the Comic Gories win. You'll have no idea how much that means to me. You're awesome. Have a great rest of your day.